Stephen Eskenazi, congratulations. What a way to start our blast campaign this year. Yeah, fantastic way to start. Um, I think we spoke about having a really good time over the next couple of weeks and enjoying our cricket. You know, you've got so many people in that dressing room who grew up dreaming of playing 2020 cricket in front of a crowd for Middlesex, people that have come through the ranks and, and local clubs. So we've taken that massively and there, you know, there are a lot of smiles out there. We, we played good cricket, but for me, I was really pleased with the attitude and, and the way we enjoyed ourselves throughout. I spoke to Richard Johnson this week and he talked about the team having an identity and a, and a manner in which it wants to play. Can you expand upon that and how does that manifest itself on the park? Yeah, massively. I think, look, it's too easy to, particularly in this format of the game, judge people on results. I mean, anyone can do that. So what we want to do is make sure that we're judging ourselves on a process of a couple of different things that we want to be known as a, as a group on and off the field. Um, something that if you come to every Middlesex game over the next, you know, two, three, four years, you understand how we're going to play our cricket. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to win every game of cricket we play like that but what it does give us is a bit of a default to go back to to know that if we can hammer away at those basics we give ourselves a chance in every game. Listening today to the Gloucester skipper at the toss when he was interviewed uh, for the big screen here at Radley he said the reason he chose to bowl is there was a little green on the wicket and he helped he thought it might help the seamers you went out there like an absolute train and smoked it. I think it was our second highest ever power play score it was coming out all right yeah, I think credit massively to the groundsman here at Radley. It was a fantastic wicket. Um, we went out there and we played, you know, good cricket shots, which yeah. is always a sign of a fantastic wicket. So, yeah, you know, maybe for their first game, they weren't necessarily quite at their best at the top and we had a quite a clear game plan and Maxi played beautifully and Crackers carried on too. Um, and I was really happy with the fact that we played good, solid cricket shots and we expanded from there. Your own game, Steve, obviously you started the season with 100. Uh, then, as we've just seen, you got a broken thumb. Uh, you've obviously come over that first game back 80 odd today you must be really pleased with your form yeah it's sort of one of those ones I guess very disappointed to miss out on a big chunk of championship cricket but it gave me a real opportunity to sit back and maybe I couldn't hit for a long period of time but I had a good chance to think about how I could contribute in this form um, and a good week or two's lead up to the tournament too so yeah fantastically happy to obviously put in a performance but more to put a marker down at the start of, of how we want to play our cricket to go and lead for the front something I think is going to be hugely important for me in this new role to go out and make sure I'm playing my best cricket too um, so I can ask people to do the same so yeah very pleased but you know as we know it's, it's a long tournament. Absolutely taking on the captaincy this year yourself um, how important is it to you to have someone of Owen Morgan's captaincy class in the ranks alongside you lending a, lending a helping hand? Yeah fantastic Morgs has been you know, a close friend of mine for a little while now and I've had the privilege of watching him go about his business for the last sort of 40 or 50 games I've played. So you pick up little bits and pieces and you sort of think in previous games, oh, what would I have done? Would I have done something differently? So to have him as, as somebody to have a conversation with when you can take a bit of a deep breath, which doesn't often happen out there, is brilliant. Um, as I said, I think my biggest challenge is going to be putting my own stamp on the role and making sure I don't just do exactly what he says and he's been fantastic with that but I think sometimes because he's such a fantastic cricket brain you can think oh well if he's going to do that I have to do that um, but he's been brilliant he, he sat back when when he needed to um, but he came to me equally when he felt like he had something to add from a value perspective so yeah I'm unbelievably grateful for him and, and the way he played tonight just shows how valuable he is to our batting lineup as well. I couldn't agree more. One last word on your own form and your own ambitions, really, Steve. Uh, only one batsman in the country in the last two years in T20 cricket has scored more runs than you. I find it almost incredible that you're not anywhere near the 100. You must have some aspirations to continue this good form and get yourself into that tournament as a real bonus this year. Yeah, I think for me, as I've gotten a little bit older, I've, I've become critically aware of the things that I can't control. Um, I'm not picking those sides, so it doesn't really matter what I think about my own game, but what I can control is the way that I'm playing, how I'm enjoying my cricket, um, and making sure that I'm putting in performances that I can keep enjoying coming here with a great group of boys. Um, it's absolutely not up to me. You know, it would be a fantastic thing, but for me it's about putting in performances. That the group we've got here and the management staff have created something pretty special here, so I'm happy rocking up for Middlesex every day. I can't complain. Superb, mate. For what it's worth, I think you'd look pretty good in a London spirit shirt. But anyway, Steve, well done today. Outstanding performance by you, outstanding performance by the team. Deserved man of the match performance by yourself. And very good luck tomorrow. Thanks very much, Esther.